20 months of fighting for financial fairness and freedom. Buy and hold AMC and Ape. And Highcroft, of course. Most people don't want to be a part of the process. They just want to be part of the outcome. But the process is where you figure out who's worth being part of the outcome. Alex Morton, Mindset. So guys, if you're like me, you've been in this play for a while now, and at this point, you're numb to it. You don't really care if AMC's up a dollar, down $10, up $20. It doesn't really make a difference. You're in this for a true investment. You're in this for the long haul, and you're waiting to sell your shares until the time is right. This is no longer a short play to make a lot of money in a short amount of time. Although relative to other investments, I do think that this play, personally, in my opinion, does offer a lot of upside potential. Maybe. But only time will tell. Remember to read and follow through the DD. Do not settle for $20. Do not settle for $200. Do not settle for $2,000. 500k per share is possible. And this brings us to the detailed explanation of why 500k floor is mathematically possible. This is a post from over a year ago, some super, super detailed DD. Talking about mathematically, geometrically, how $500,000 per share is actually possible, guys. If you're new here, definitely take a look at it and know what the floor price could actually get to. Check this out, guys. FYI to all of you holding on to shares. This ape said, didn't realize I was loaning out shares. Hi, friends. Just FYI, last night I checked on my alley transactions and noticed several small deposits from fully paid lending rebate. I remember years ago that I agreed to loan out shares because it said that I'd be paid. Wasn't really sure what it meant at the time. Anyways, I emailed them to remove the approval. I don't have a ton of AMC, but I can imagine that there are more out there like me. It's a very good point, guys. Make sure that you know what's going on in your brokerage accounts, especially since a lot of us are probably not of us are most likely a little bit newer to investing make sure that if you don't want to lend out your shares contact your broker and tell them so